Hello everybody. I hope you guys are having a good day. My week last week was filled with ups and downs. So this week we're going to hit the ground running trying to get on with ourselves. Now, I will be uploading a recording before this because I recorded it the day of something bad happening. And I couldn't just, I couldn't bring myself to come to my computer. I was just so devastated. So I just kind of stayed away. But I took these last couple of days to gather myself and um, get my get my act together pretty much for you guys. So if you are new here, welcome to the family. You know, brother, sister, uncle, cousin, best friend. You could be best friend and still be family. And I hope you consider subscribing and staying for a while. And also, I take requests, so if you want me to play something, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comment section below. Okay, so here we are. We're here. <sighs> and we were told something that we shouldn't have been told, but I'm going to keep going because <sighs> I hope Peko didn't do what I think she did. No. This is important and it relates to the voting. Absolutely. About Peko's motive. Yeah, because they said that the motive was the game, but I don't remember Peku being in the game at all. Uh, yeah. In the end, you had no connection to the events depicted in Twilight Kingdom murder case, right? Yeah. Then why did you kill Mahiru? It is so strange. Hmm. Is she covering for someone? Yeah. I must answer that question. I must say it was for the sake of justice. The sake of justice? Oh God. Is she saying that she's the serial killer? The is she's the murderer because she's the thing that uh Sonya was talking about? Huh? Justice? Okay, I love this face she's making. May not make this the thumbnail because I feel like it spoils too much. However, um, it might be the uh, thumbnail. Huh? I do not sully my hands to satisfy personal grudges. There is only one reason I kill. Okay. For the sake of protecting justice. Sparkling justice. She's gonna say she's sparkling justice. I couldn't remember the name. I was. I just could remember the justice part, but she's gonna say that she's sparkling justice. Phone, please. Thank you. I am recording. You, what are you saying? Justice is what makes humans human. <laughs> it's a virtue that human beings should be proud of. Oh God. Justice is the eternal sun and the enduring moon. The protective father and the smiling mother. Jesus. Hello, Earth to Peko. Right, like you freaking us out in here. If justice ever disappeared from this world, the world would immediately freeze, and people's smiles would vanish. I will not allow that. That right there. Can we just vote? <laughs> it's getting like it's getting a little eerie. Like, oh yeah, I'm killing for justice. No, you killed to kill, and that was wrong. It, it's fine. Just stop it. Right. Justice must always be there to guide us, to shine bright above our heads. <laughs> I'm telling you to stop it. Please. So I must. I must continue to fight to protect justice. Listen, could she be? Don't get, don't, please don't get Miss Sonya worked up. As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the heart of malevolent evil. Oh God. Justice complete. Why? Why? Just why? The center of justice that is pierced by justice the lead star of justice that shines in the night sky that would be me sparkling justice look at 
look at the little emo face on the side. It's so cute. Now then, let's oh my god. Justice. Best part of this whole entire thing. <laughs> what? What the fuck? <laughs> Cover your ears, young ones. That is too cute. What's going on? What's this? Chill. It's called being uncomfortable in a situation like this. <laughs> Pecco finally snapped. <laughs> Everyone, please be careful. Sparkling Justice is a serial killer who claims to be an ally of justice. But clad in her various hero masks, she is a serial killer who exclusively targets other criminals. But my hero wasn't a criminal. You don't even know if what if she had anything to do with the whole situation. Like, and even if that's the case, I think I'm not for sure. And maybe they'll mention it. But I believe that Peku said she was she was one of the people that didn't play the game. So how? Unless she lied. I mean, she, I guess she, she that is a possibility that she lied. But if it, she was telling the truth, that means she didn't play the game. She's lying. She, I think she's lying. She is supposed to be, but her ally Oops. Is justice. So that's why you're wearing a mask. This mask is the dividing line. Just like various idols, the sun is revered because it lies just beyond your grasp. Justice should also be the same. <laughs> Look at the faces. I, I don't get it, but, but this is becoming. Crazy. I'm with you, Nekomaru. This is insane. What? What the heck is is this? Peku is the killer? Why? Is it turning out like this? This is turning out to be a surprising turn of events. Oh my god, and you would be asleep at a time like this. Hey! Now's not the time for you to be sleeping. Right. Wake up. <laughs> oh my god. You if you can move your arms, get out of the freaking rope and hit the button so we can vote. I know it's gotta be like a button you gotta press so we can start voting or whatever. So what's your answer to my previous question? Why did you kill Mahiru? Yeah. This world must always be bathed in the light of justice. I must not allow even one shadow. Evil must be eliminated immediately. But do you? Uh, I don't know. No matter what, I must not overlook evil. And I can't remember the game very well, but I don't think my hero. I don't think my hero killed anybody. That means you killed her for nothing. Even if that is the case, I really. I think she had. She knew what happened. But I think girl E did it, and then girl E got killed. So justice was served technically, just my hero knew about it. So you, <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> cute emoji face, so cute. Evil? Are you saying my hero is? You knew about that incident, then you must have played the game. Am I right? Thank you. Somebody asked the question I was looking for. And because of that, I was able to find the killer's accomplice hiding on this island. Like a sewer rat. Wow. So she didn't even do anything. She just knew about the situation. And yes, she could have reported it or whatever. But she didn't she didn't kill his sister. She he just This is wrong. This is all wrong. Then the reason you killed my hero was Oh, I'm sure they're gonna tell oh god. <laughs> Look at the emoji. I can't. These emoji faces. There's the faces are so cute. In order to protect justice, I have become its merciless sword and executed justice. Aww. <laughs> Not all to her. She's terrible. But I mean, aww. To the face. Peku, I didn't even get a chance to talk to you that much. She's such a stereotype. 
stereotypical psychopath. <laughs> Oh my god. Yank her ponytail. Shut up. Echo. Is this your true identity? My true identity? Mm hmm <laughs> I have already forgotten who I am. It just shows my determination. My determination to protect by throwing away what's most important. I'm willing to become anybody to shower this world with justice. Jesus, you're worse than uh, Nagito with the with the freaking um what you call it with the hope. He's doing bad things for hope. You're doing bad things for justice. I don't even think this is <laughs> is this justified. Like I don't I don't get it. Like <laughs> I can't stand this anymore. Let's just end this farce already. Please. End it? He's right. This, we need to end this already. The killer and the end. There's no mistake that it is Peku all, of lo all along. Let's Blazer. Over this incident one more time and then let's end this. Absolutely. Let's get this over with. Closing argument. Okay. If I mess up, if I mess up, I will 100% because you guys see my health. I will, uh, I will skip all of this until we get to the part that where it needs to be said. Everything needs to be said. That's so let's see. Um, see, Tioka made a promise with someone. What's this? This morning is him who met. I think that goes there. And I like that this one actually tells you when you got it right. What's this? Um, in order to lure Mahiro and Hyoko. No. No, no. Okay, so we don't have that yet. That's already up there, so it's not that. The first one, no, that's not it. What's this? The next one to arrive at the beach house was, and we don't have that. However, I, what is this? What did the killer leave next to the body? Um, It was a mass, but we don't have that either. What's this? Now then, time to wash off the blood. Okay, we don't have that either. Where should I hide? Don't have that either. I think we might have one of these. No. Okay, no. No, no, no. That's that. Okay, yeah, we don't we don't need that. Okay, so these two pictures, I'm going to say that they they've already been used, so I'm not going to say it's that. Um What's this? Where should I hide? First one I found the body was Hyoko wakes up. Okay, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, Hyoko left. Big piece of evidence. Okay, the footprints. There we go. Okay, this one's kind of easy. Okay, so I think the water bottles go back here. Yeah, right. Time to wash. Pass the water bottles. Then what? Right. Okay. Um. Mikan rise at the beach house. My hero is at the beach house. I think this goes here, right? Next one arrived at the beach house was my heater. Okay. So I think we got all these. Oh, no, no, no. We, we're missing two back here. Okay. Um, We have the one where it's set by the body <clears throat> as well. Let's see. Yeah. What was left next to the body? I think it, this goes here. Yeah. Okay. Um... I think we saw this, right? No, no, no. This would be back here where Hiyoko showed up, right? Right? Yeah, okay. She looks like she's just walking into somewhere, so. Um, I think that's already on the board. I think I saw that already. Yeah, that's already on the board, so I'm going to say that's not that. What's this? In the closet after Hiyoko left. I think the killer did that. Uh, to retrieve the bamboo sword. I don't think I have that yet. Wow, she really used the sword to get out. That is insane. Um, what's this? Where should I hide? Okay. Okay, alright, the last one. So let's go from the beginning. So we should have the last two in the beginning. I think we're missing two in the beginning. Yeah, we're missing that one. Oh, just that one. Okay, um, what's this? 
I think this goes here. Um, what's this? It's talking to someone. Hmm. Which one else? Which one are we missing? Which one are we missing? Which one are we missing? This one. Um, to retrieve the bamboo. Tie the bamboo sword to the, this. Okay. 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 All right. Boom. We got it. I'm gonna put this on auto too, so they can play through. Mahiru most likely played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, mm -hmm. a video game provided to us as the moat. Yep, we know that. She probably wanted to discuss it with someone else who also appeared in the game as a character. Which would be Hiyoko, Mikan, and someone else. Who else invitation. was it? And they promised to have a more detailed Ibuki. conversation about it later. Mm -hmm. However, someone else overheard their exchange. The killer. The killer eavesdropped on mm -hmm. the conversation and used their promise to devise a specific murder plan. Wow, this is by preparing a specific item, they plan to manipulate the two's actions. By switching the letters. Yeah. Or not switching the letters, but writing their own letters. They sent fake letters to both Mahiru and Hyoko. The letter Mahiru received told her to come to the beach house at 2.30 p.m. Right. And the letter Hyoko received told her to come to the beach house at exactly 2 p.m. By providing different times, the killer was able to lure them to the beach house separately. This is so sad. Hyoko totally trusted that letter. Showed up at the beach house at 2 p.m. just like it said. And then they knocked and her out. Drugged into unconsciousness by the killer lying in wait. After putting Hyoko to sleep, the killer immediately hid her inside the closet. So they could frame her as the killer later. At 2.30 p.m., Mahiru arrived at the beach house. She was completely unaware that she had been targeted for murder. Approaching her from behind, the killer struck the defenseless Mahiru with a specific weapon. I didn't even get a chance to talk to Mahiru either. The metal bat that was left at the scene of the crime. Wow. The bat was brought down onto the back of Mahiru's head, and with that, she took her last breath. Seeing it and it, I mean, hearing the about it and then seeing it played out is just Mahiru insane. Died instantly, but she probably never knew who killed her. With that, the killer achieved their goal of killing Mahiru and began to tamper with the crime scene. They dragged Mahiru's body so that it blocked the door leading to the road. Poor Mahiru. I should have talked to her first. The last found at the scene of the crime was something the killer personally left. I'm not really sure why. My guess is it's something similar to a calling card. And she's supposed to be some kind of justice thing. That's how the crime scene we discovered was created. However, by moving Mahiru's body, the killer got blood splatter on them. Plus, the shower room had no water because it was out of order, so they couldn't wash it off. And wouldn't there be blood in the shower room too? But the killer expected something like that to happen. Instead of the shower, the killer used something else to wash the blood off their body. They used plastic water bottles that were inside the beach house refrigerator. We can assume they carried the bottles to the shower room before the sequence of events had happened. <laughs> it's like douche. In place of shower, they washed the blood off their body with water bottles instead. However, they had no choice but to dispose of the empty bottles in the beach house's trash can. Littering is against the rules. And it would have taken too much time to throw them away somewhere else. 
just couldn't get rid of them in the ocean or anything. Killer hid inside the surfboard case that they had already entered beforehand. After some time had passed, the sleeping drug used on Hyoko wore off and she woke up. I don't feel sorry for Hyoko at all. I feel sorry for my hero through this whole thing. How badly Hyoko must have panicked when she came out of the closet. I mean, she made plans to see my hero. He lay dead right in front of her. Right. From the shock and panic of being considered a murder suspect, Kyoko fled from the beach house. Because of that, she left footprints in the sand. Everything was a trap set by the killer to frame her. And Kaku did try to frame her in the in the uh, case. The killer finally came out of the surfboard case. Placed a dummy that they brought with them to shift our suspicion toward Hyoko. Ironically, placing that dummy is what helped clear our suspicion toward Hyoko. Because she grabbed the wrong flavor. Finally, the killer began preparing to escape from the beach house. They could risk leaving their footprints in the sand, so they escaped the beach house using a different route. I wonder if she didn't leave that gummy, could they have just continued focusing on Hyoko? However, that window is rather high up and can't be reached easily, which is why the killer used the bamboo sword they always carry with them. This is insane. The killer took the bamboo sword out of its bag, tied the bag to the sword's handle. And use the sword as a step stool to reach the small window while holding the sword bag in their hand. As long as they're able to reach the window, all they had to do was pull the bag to retrieve the sword. Wow. And so the killer left the beach house and appeared before us as if nothing had happened. Which made us believe that she, you know, but actually really. The wet hair and swimsuit didn't dry right away. There also weren't any towels at the beach house. Mm-hmm. If you had a plan, why didn't you like plan all this stuff like early? They had been swimming for a while as an excuse. So how about it? This is the truth behind the incident you caused. Isn't that right, Peko Peko Yama? Wow. Peko. I mean, she got caught. What else is she supposed to do? I haven't done anything to be ashamed of. I mean, yeah, if you're not ashamed of what you do and what you do, just keep doing what you're doing. But I mean, everybody's actions have some type of consequences, whether it's a good consequence or a bad consequence. So just remember, whatever you do in this life, all of your actions have consequences to them. So just just keep that in mind. You'll end up like Peku. Stop with the justice stuff. That's no reason to condemn me. Whatever. Let's hurry up and vote so we can freaking kill this weird, crazy thing. For the first time, I agree with her that she's crazy. But I don't agree that she's just being a, a, a bitch. I agree that she is crazy. However, Weird? No, I think she's just crazy. There's no way you can kill me. <laughs> because you're justice, justice or something. Never be yeah. You should all know that as well. What are you saying? <laughs> I like how he said that. What are you saying, huh? To protect what's most important to you, you must be prepared to throw away something equally important. In this case, your life. Okay. Mm-mm-mm. Then I shall be direct. 
justice must carry on. Okay. In order to keep justice, to keep me alive, you all must give up your lives. What? Excuse me? Are you serious? It's not serious. It's justice. I mean, we get the justice thing. Like, like, stop with the justice thing. We get it. It's just... You just told us all to die, basically. If I fall here, who will combat the evils of this world? Now, follow your hearts of justice that reside within you all. And save my life to protect justice. So you want us to keep you alive so you can go around murdering killers? Hurry and carry on justice. Or do you want us to, because I think the rule is if we don't pick the black end, then the person who really did everything, which would be in this case Peku, gets to live and we die. Give me a break. Who's going to die for you? Right. Yeah, exactly, and that's why we're sending you up the tree, not us. We're not going there. Don't worry. The justice that you give your life to protect will never go to waste. I can't stand her anymore. Let's vote already and execute her. Okay. Um, however, before we do that. Oh my god, look, I get it. You've been like following sparkling justice all your life, but listen, it's not the time to be filling your fantasy, Sonya. Yes, I'm awake. thank you. Let's vote. Uh, he finally woke up. The only thing I can think of is that Peku's trying to protect somebody, she's not the real killer, and the fact that they keep there's people that keep interrupting, like, hold on, wait, before we vote. You know, let's, you know, ask ourselves this question here. I believe that she is trying to protect somebody. Who? I don't know. Uh, the only other person I could think of is Fuihiko, but I don't even know if she liked Fuihiko. However, she did try to talk to him a lot because when we would be like, oh, yeah, where's Fuihiko? She'd be like, I saw him and I talked to him, but, you know, he didn't want to talk to me. So maybe she's got, like, some kind of crush on him or something. I heard your story. Well, I wasn't listening, but who cares? <laughs> now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice? Or, or the, the dreadfully dead? wrong one? <laughs> <laughs> Such heart-pounding excitement. Gotta scoot up a little bit. <laughs> let's go. Let's let's get this over with. Voting time, voting time, voting, voting, voting time, voting time, voting time. It's you, Pecco. Woo! Let's get on with it. Pardon me. Can we please uh, have a little more time? Sonia? <laughs> she scared me. I was looking down, oh, like, looking for my phone, and she, I heard, pardon me. <laughs> it scared the crap out of me. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. Can we have a little bit more time? Please let us continue our discussion. Okay. Continue our discussion? But isn't the voting over? Once we get out of the trial and it's back to me reading, I'm going to stop it and then I'll do everything else as far as, you know, punishment and all that other stuff and moving on into chapter three in the next video. Uh, like the closing of the class trial type of thing. Yes, but I cannot help but feel strange. Something about this is definitely strange. Okay. Huh? Strange? What do you mean? There's no doubt that Peko is the killer. Okay. That is true. However, as a serial killer enthusiast, you're wondering if Peko is really sparkling justice. Am I right? <sighs> A serial killer enthusiast. Interesting. Hey, Miss Sony isn't a serial killer enthusiast. She just has a little more passion about them than most. Uh. Oh. That makes her an enthusiast. <laughs> Honestly, so 
sounds strange to me too. I mean, you know, somebody made a comment that uh, Ibuki is dumb. Somebody's like, I don't like Ibuki. She's so dumb. What? She is a very smart person, and she shows it. So, oh my God, my phone. I'm so sorry, you guys. She shows it so clearly that she is extremely smart. I don't understand how you would get out of that that she's dumb. There's a distinct difference between what we know about sparkling justice and Petra, right? Okay. You know, Sonia describes sparkling justice like this. Justice complete. Okay. The center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. That would be me. Sparkling justice! <laughs> what the heck was that? That is Sparkling Justice catchphrase. An unknown serial killer has a catchphrase? I read it in a magazine in the library. There was only ever there's blah 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 blah, blah, blah. rewind. There's only ever been one person, a journalist, who has interviewed Sparkling Justice. The article was written in their native language, so I tried to translate it. I see. So that's what it was. I think I've got... The... the diff <laughs> Bless me. I think I got the difference between a serial killer and Peku. Hi, Jen. Oh, God. <laughs> Peku... Unless you can speak some kind of other language. <laughs> wow. That's right. According to what Sonia said. The article was written in their native language, so I tried to translate it. If she had a translator, that means it wasn't written in English, right? Right. Huh? Yep. That means Peku, you better start speaking a different language. You better start speaking that Espanol real quick. <laughs> you better start. So, Sparkling Justice's catchphrase was no doubt written in Spanish as well. Which means the journalist and Sparkling Justice are both from Spain? You better start speaking a different language real quick. And a certain language. What? <laughs> and they gave the little emoji face to her too. Can you do it? All this time, I completely misunderstood. When I first heard about the serial killer, Genocide Jack and Sparkling Justice, I just assumed both serial killers were from the same country. But that wasn't the case. If so? Peko, you're not Sparkling Justice. There's no way that's possible. Mm-hmm. Or, if you insist that you're sparkling justice, can you try saying that catchphrase in Spanish? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, um, we're waiting. Be able to do that? You should have did research, sweetie. It appears that the time has come for this mask to come off. Thank you, Jesus, because that, that mask is creepy. Perfectly fine. It's no longer necessary. And even if you find out now, it's too late for you all to do anything about it. Okay. This My is such a has already been finished. This is such a pretty picture of Peku, and I can't use it as my freaking ugh! I can't use it as a thumbnail because it will ruin it for a lot of people and I don't want to do that. It's such a beautiful picture of Peku. My duty as a tool has already been A tool? What? What are you talking about? Uh-huh. Looks like she's back to normal. Right. That mask has fulfilled its purpose. Just as I have. 
What do you mean? Fulfilled its purpose too late? What are you getting at? I don't understand either. Now that you've already cast your vote, is what it means. Okay. Huh? Hey, be clearer. We're asking you what your purpose was. Oh god. Did we just pick the wrong person? This is this is case two. This is chapter two. There's no way we did that. I sh is she serious? She's joking, right? She's got to be 100% joking. There is... It, it's her. It's her. No, it's her. I have no purpose. I am just a mere machine. Wow. What do you mean? She's saying we chose the wrong person. She called herself a tool. Which means someone else used her then? Someone else used her? Oh my god. Fuyahiko. Fuyahiko, you got- You're in the freaking cos- <laughs> You're in the mafia and you used her to do your dirty- Why would you do that? It's gotta be Fuyahiko. Wow. did have a sneaking suspicion all along. She's saying, I think she's saying that we voted for the wrong person because she didn't act on her own will. Someone asked her to do it. She did it because they told her to do it. Are they trying to like pull the, we voted for the wrong person because she is not, she didn't act on her own or some type of thing? Like, or did we, he could land the final blow. Is that what she's trying to say? It has to be for you, Hiko. I mean, besides Peko and Kyoko, someone else was also at the beach house. Yep, it was for Hiko. He left first. Someone else? Mm-hmm. There is proof that establishes that fact. Try to remember it. Mr. Uh, Soda. The proof that there was one more person at the scene of the crime. Surf Force, the metal bat. The body discovery announcement. I got my health back? Did y'all see that? Wait, did I do something wrong? I mean, did I do something right? I mean, I got my all my health. I had like a tiny, itty bit of health left. Is it because I did something, like I chose the right answer or something? I got a lot of health back? That's weird. Yep, that's right. I mean, didn't Monokuma say so earlier? So, what about this time? Is there three people including the killer or not? Jeez, fine, fine. You want me to say it? It doesn't include the killer this time, okay? All done. That announcement is made when at least three people discover a body. And in this particular case, the killer, Peko, is not one of those three. Wow. If that's the case, it would mean only Hyoko and Kazuichi discovered the body, but... I see. That leaves us one person short. Wow. So that means there was one more person in the beach house. It was Fuyuhiko. Plus, the fact that Monokuma tried to hide that truth from us by being flexible with his own rules. That's such a vital clue that it could alter the outcome of the trial. Like an accomplice, for example. Mm-hmm. No. Okay. Huh? Am I wrong? Yes. From your basic way of thinking about it, you are wrong. Didn't I tell you? I'm just a tool. Okay. That means I'm just a simple tool to be used by that person. So, uh, so who was the third person that discovered the body? If Kazuichi and uh, Hiyoko were the only two that discovered the body. No, unless they're counting me, because when he screamed, I came into the beach house, so. But the body discovery announcement happened after that. It happened after, before I even got to the beach house. And then uh, Kazuchi screamed. Huh? Therefore, that 
person would have the strongest motive out of anybody else here, right? Yep. It's Fuyihiko. It's gotta be Fuyihiko. You're the only one! Fuyihiko? Uh huh. Wow. The connection between the motive and the incident. But even if it's the motive, it's just a game, right? Right. There's no reason to believe it's even true. I mean, you could potentially. Would you call a game like that a strong motive? Absolutely not. No. The event that occurred in that game should have definitely occurred in real life. However, overwhelming proof of that too. Um. Okay. So hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. I was paying attention. I really was paying attention. I was. My screen froze. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um. My my screen froze for a second, or at least it didn't freeze, but I couldn't move because I could see the time moving. But um. The proof. Is he talking about? Is he talking about the pictures? Do we like? Do we do the ending prize or do we do like pictures? Yeah, the crime scene photos. So I'll try the ending prize. If I if, if it's not the ending prize, then I know it's got to be one of the like the victims crime scene photo or girl east crime scene photo, because uh, technically. No, no, no. Yeah, technically Girl E's thing was actually real. We saw it in the game. We saw the actual picture of it and everything. So, it would probably be either Girl E or that or anything else. No, everything else is related to what happened in our world, not in the game. So, if it's not this, then... Okay, it is that. It is that. No doubt that game is based on actual events. That much is clear if you saw the ending prize. Yeah, it was a bunch of pictures, wasn't it? Yeah. Photos awarded for beating the game are not <coughs> screenshots. They're all actual photos with the surrounding scenery cropped out. Mm hmm You knew all along, Fuyuhiko, didn't you? You did, Fuyuhiko. Cause that's your sister. The first victim in the game was actually your little sister, right? Because whoever beat the game first received the prize. Yep. And you had it. Hey, what's that envelope? What's inside? Shut up! What makes you think I have any right to question me? Yeah, you were all mad and everything. The person who received the ending prize. That was you, wasn't it? You knew all. If you were shown a photograph of your sister's dead body, you'd have no choice but to believe it. Even so, you wanted to deny the truth. That's why you sent those photos to Mahiru to confirm it. You are such a bad guy, boy. Hey, why are we talking about Fuyuhiko? Who cares? Because Fuyuhiko's involved. Oh, God, and I think we chose the wrong person now. <clears throat> Not if she didn't deliver the last ball. Oh no. That's why I told you. You're all too late. As I said before, I exist as nothing more than a tool. I had no motive for killing Mahiru. No reason to kill. Not even the will to kill. And you just did it. I was simply used as a tool. As long as I am a tool, I cannot defy my orders. Wow, she is that is, what? That smile of hers is all it's it always makes her look cross sided, but it's just she's insane. Hey, what's going on? Can anyone give me a simpler explanation? Please do. I'm 
the true king who used me as their weapon to kill Mahiru Koizumi. With Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. I'm getting a vitamin. Sorry. No. You just you just told on yourself. You said the true killer who used me as their weapon. That means you're the killer. You were the weapon. You killed. This isn't gonna work, right, Monokuma? No. I have no illusions. But my young master does. My young master planned this from the start. Young master? Young master? Queen Hiko, please open your mouth and say something. Because otherwise, I got no choice but to believe her. Sure, you realize it by now, but it's too late. You cannot undo the veil. That's a problem. If Peko's allegation holds up, that means our vote was incorrect. Mm hmm. In that case, the person who gets to live is. Wait, he go. Just me? Yep. You will be the only one alive. Can you do it? He did say. No matter how you look at it, that's completely insane. I mean, I wouldn't. I mean, as far as her, I don't care. How would Peko be a tool in the first place? Peko is a legitimate human being. Mm-hmm. That's not for you to decide. It's, it's for Monokuma. Yeah. The votes have been cast. All we can do now is wait and see what Monokuma decides. <sighs> this is. This is insane. This is this can't be real. This can't like this can't if this plays out the way I'm thinking it will. They can probably have me do some kind of crazy puzzle that to get out of this and I'm gonna fail it and we're gonna end up all dying anyway. So it's like Oh man, you guys Oh I hope this isn't uh the way I think it is. Oh my god. Now you got don't don't judge me, don't judge me, don't judge me. I messed up on a lot of places. Don't judge me, don't judge me. A B. Okay. A B's not bad. B is passing. B is passing. That's average. Okay. Alright. No, I did good. I did good. I got a B. That's cool. That's A okay. I'm I'm cool with that. Hmm. I'm in a bind. And what a bind it is. Mm-hmm. We'll be right back after this commercial break. We definitely will. Thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate it. Oh, God. The, I think I'm so confused. I'm going to end. I'm going to play this out. And there's going to probably be like three episodes of uh, Dangarampa this week. But thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate it. This is getting so insane and and, and just incredible the, the storytelling here is incredible if you enjoyed yourself the way i enjoy myself i really hope you consider hitting that subscribe button i will see all of you in the next video peace and love i was gonna say bye but peace and love